Okay. You're going to the gym. You want success. You want results. You have to do something about it. You just can't hope for it. You can't expect it just to happen because you showed up. You can't just expect it to happen because you did a few of these and a few of those and, you know, you ate some protein and all that stuff. You have to take action. You have to demand it from the universe. You have to demand it from your workouts and insist that it happens right now, here and now. And without that kind of lead up, I mean, you're just spinning your wheels. You're not really doing anything. You're just pretending to be some kind of bodybuilder or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. week before the gym, a week before the workout, you have to be thinking about the workout. The days before, you have to just all of a sudden daydream about what it's going to feel like. The night before, especially the night before, as you're eating your meal and as you're going over in your head that you've rested and you're fully glycogenated and you're going to have a good workout, you have to expect the good workout. You can't just think it's going to happen. You have to expect it. You have to already have you have to already have practiced it in your mind. In your mind, in, in your workout, you have to f imagine what the bar is going to feel like in your hands or on your back. You have to have this kind of mental rehearsal to get any kind of results. You just can't go there on gym day and go, okay, I'm here. I showed up. I'm going to do a few of these and a few of those and take your pre-workout thing and then all that stuff. You have to do a lot more than just show up. The night before the workout, okay. You're thinking about it. You're envisioning the workout. You've practiced it many times, multiple times already the week before. Even though before the week before, you've already thought about it in your mind to some degree. You had some kind of reference point. You had some kind of daydream. As you progress to the night before, you think about what's going to happen You've already done it, but you're thinking about what, how are you going to bring it to fruition? How are you going to bring it to reality? And you go over the daydream in your mind. Eat good. Make sure you get your rest. On the way to the gym, you have to start getting those sweaty palms. You have to start getting anxious. If you don't get anxious anymore, and all you do is listen to some kind of music or something like that, and you're just thinking that you're doing it, you're not doing it. Turn around and go home, if that's the case. Do something else. Take up another sport. Something that's not so hard. You just can't show up. You just can't pretend. You have to demand from the workout that you're going to get results. And you have to have workouts in your brain already before. You have to have the results already in your brain before you even get there. You have to expect success because you rehearsed it in your brain, in your mind. You get to the gym, you've had sweaty palms, you're anxious, your heart's beating faster. When you get there, it's like you're a kid in the candy store. There's the machine, there's the squat rack, or there's the exercise I'm doing over there. When you're warming up, when you're stretching, you're not just stretching, you're getting in the mood, you're getting ready to accept the challenge, you're, you're, you're getting ready to do what it's going to take, and it's going to take all of you. It's going to take every ounce of your being, everything you got. And if you give it any less than everything you totally got and you're not totally spent, you're not doing enough. When you get to the point and you got five more reps, you get five more reps. But then you got five more. And somehow, by some act of God, and you're, you're praying to God that you have to get five more reps, you do and you will. Whenever you got five more reps, usually you have ten. You can't just say, oh, okay, I got five more reps. It has to be five more reps. It has to be everything within you has to be able to go to the table, go to the bar, go to the rack, go to the exercise you're doing and demand it, insist it. And you have to become the muscle. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are the muscle. The muscle, you're an addict. The muscle is an addict for workouts. The muscle is an addict for tension. The muscle is an addict for stress on the muscle. And when you get to the gym, you're the addict. You're the muscle. 
Life as you know it doesn't really not exist anymore. All you are is a muscle that have intention. You're the muscle you're thinking about. You become that muscle, and all that matters and all that you care about in the world is is tension and going after each and every single rep and executing each and every single rep and getting more when you say you can't and getting five more reps when you're done and even getting five more reps when you think you're done. And then till you achieve failure, you either you fall in the rack, you do some half ones, you can't hang on to the bar anymore, and somehow you do, but it falls to the ground, and that's usually an indication that the set might be over. This is what you have to give it. You have to give it this much, otherwise, why are you doing this in the first place? You're not going to get results. Even if you get lucky, you'll get some kind of small facsimile of, of maybe results but you dress nice maybe <laughs> you eat the protein you have to demand it you have to promise yourself this is it right here you have to promise yourself that you will not ever be a failure you have to marry this thought pattern so when you get to the gym I don't care if you on your deathbed and you're dying and it hurts and anything you have to promise yourself before you get there, that you are not going to go home a loser. I would rather die than acknowledge to myself that I'm that loser. There is nothing that I won't do. There's nothing that I won't do to avoid being a loser. And if you think you could have done more, you're a loser. I do not ever want to go home from the gym going, I'm a loser, I could have done more. I should have, could have. You have to self make a promise to yourself that you will never, ever go there or do that. And you will fight to the death to maintain your promise to yourself. The nice thing about bodybuilding is you're not just competing with another human. You're not trying to dominate another human being. You're dominating yourself. And to dominate yourself, you've got to promise yourself that you will go the distance each and every single time. And in the face of death, in the face of failure, you get five more reps. In the eyes of if, if dying, you'll figure out a way to get more. In the eyes of failure, you're ready to start. If you don't think you can do this, don't. If you are doing it and wonder why you're not getting the kind of results you're, you should be getting or would like to have, this is what you got to do. This is what you have to do. I am, there is no question in my mind. You have to be to this point in your life where you go, there's no question. This is what I got to do. I'm going to do it and I'm going to get results or I'm not going to do it and I'm going to do something else. You decide. This is bodybuilding. Thank you.